Hello, Chris here for Tenorshare, today I want to show you guys how to fix iPhone stuck on Apple logo after jailbreaking. I've heard a lot of you have run into this kind of issue with Uncover, some of you are using Checkrine. It'll ask you to reboot the device when you try to jailbreak, then when you proceed, it'll get stuck on the Apple logo screen. So, let's see how we can fix this. If you haven't tried the force restart, give it a shot before we go with other solutions. For an iPhone 10, is press and quickly release the volume up button, then press and quickly release the volume down button, then press and hold the side button till the device restarts. If this doesn't work for you, the next option to go is to do an update or restore with iTunes. All you need to do is connect the device to a computer, then put it into recovery mode, so press and quickly release the volume up button, then the volume down button, and hold the side button till you see the connect to computer icon. Then head to iTunes, click on the check for update button. If your device is not up to date, it'll go through the update process right away. In my case I already have the latest iOS, so what I'm going to do is go to ipsw.me. So once you get here, you want to click on iPhone, then find your device model, and click on the signed IPSW file, and then download it to the computer. Once the download completed, we can head back to iTunes. This time press the shift key while clicking on the check for update button, then select the IPSW file. It's saying iTunes will update your iPhone, let's go ahead and hit update. Now your device should go through the update process, and get back to normal if completed. Some of you are having issue with iTunes, so here is another option for you. Repair the iOS with Ryboot. This is an iOS repair tool as it's called. There's a link in the description if you'd like to download. So what we are going to do is plug the phone into the computer, you might also need to put it into recovery mode if it's not detected. Then go to the repair operating system section, and then, click fix now. In this step it matched the latest iOS firmware for the device, let's click on the download button. Once we got the firmware, we can start the repair right away. A progress bar will reflect what is going on with the device during the entire process. All we need to do is ensure a good network and USB connection. Okay, now it says the repair process is completed, a few minutes later, we should see the home screen. Most importantly, all our data are still on the device, and you can re-jailbreak if you want. The repair feature requires a license for Ryboot, here I'll list out all the plans. My name is Chris, this is Tenorshare channel, and I'll see you in the next video.